T-Squad, just when I thought that things couldn't get any worse between Jeezy and Jeannie, my child, it did today. Oh my God, these two are on a war path. It is bad at this point. Like, it can't get no worse, hopefully. If you're new to this channel, what's good? My name is Keisha, aka Color Me Pink, and you are watching a brand new Spill the Tea video. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. Last week, I literally just told you guys how Jeezy filed for primary custody of their daughter, Monaco. Then he retracted it and went back to joint custody. Well, baby, Jeannie said, okay, you want to play? Okay, I'm reloaded. <laughs> she has claimed in court that she has been a victim of domestic A via her current husband, Jeezy Jenkins, honey. Yes, sir, re Bob. It is bad. Per court documents, woo, Jesus, it reads. In truth, the safety and well-being of their minor child while in the care and custody of father has been of utmost concern to mother since she first learned that father was seeking a divorce due to father's past outbursts of physical V and verbal A against mother and his eldest son. Mother has valid concerns as to father's ability to appropriately parent a small child. Father also has documented issues with explosive outbursts, excessive drinking, and DV per perpetuated against mother and his eldest son. Ooh, she bringing his other child into it. Father's mixtures, mixture of concerning attributes along with his penchant for leaving bullets and assault rifles laying around have given mother reasonable concern for the party's minor child well-being and why mother has insisted upon father securing his weapons by way of example on january 18 2022 in miami while the couple were talking in a parked car father requested for the driver to step outside the vehicle and then began to berate mother he hurled insults such as you w-h-o-r-e and I can't wait to divorce you when we get back. Father held mother against her will inside of the vehicle. And during the course of her trying to escape the vehicle, father struck mother with a closed fist across her cheekbone and eye, causing a subconjugal hemorrhage. Wow. That week, father and mother contacted their pastor and therapist for counseling in regards to the DV perpetrated by father. Wow, she said he hit her with a closed fist. Oh my God. Further, on April 14, 2022, at the San Francisco Ritz Carlton, father choked mother from behind as she was ascending the stairs, and subsequently, father pushed mother down the stairs, calling the attention of the hotel security guard stationed in the lobby father proceeded to verbally assault mother calling her a effing b and repeating i can do so much better than you security intervened and provided the mother protection after she repeatedly stated she felt unsafe as detailed in the ritz incident report see exhibit n Ooh, let's go to exhibit N. Oh, Lord Jesus. They got the actual incident report. So the incident report reads from event narrative, LP base received a call in regards a domestic dispute in the lounge bar at approximately 2221. Lounge server stated that guests, Mr. Jenkins had pushed Miss Jeannie Mai Jenkins down the steps leading to the main lobby. One L5 responded to the call and upon arrival, I noticed Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins arguing. I approached the guest and continued to sit on 
lobby bar area and requested five minutes to discuss things alone. After the given time, I spoke to both guests telling them they needed to continue their conversation elsewhere because it was disrupting other guests. Guests moved to P37 hallway and continued their conversation. Mr. Jenkins requested I get his four Louis Vuitton bags from room. And as I was in the process, I was called back to assist due to Ms. Jenkins beginning to raise her voice, resulting me to have to put the luggage retrieval on hold. Mr. Jenkins requested to go outside and get some fresh air to talk. Ms. Jenkins also had previously stated she felt unsafe being alone with him and requested I was nearby. Guests talked near valet office and then moved themselves to the front desk where Mr. Jenkins got another room key to retrieve the rest of his belongings. Mr. Jenkins continued to try to press the issue of wanting to converse with his wife, but due to Ms. Jenkins' com comment, Stating she was done talking, I told Mr. Jenkins he needed to willingly walk away from the situation or I was going to have to call the police. Both guests went up to the room, but Miss Jenkins requested I came along because she still felt unsafe being with him by herself and wanted me to make sure she came out of the room unharmed. I escorted both guests and they continued their conversation in the room. Mr. Jenkins wanted me to wait outside, but I stated that I could not due to his wife's fear of her safety. After their conflict, Mr. Jenkins made me aware that he was getting another room and to have his personal belongings, which were previously retrieved, ready in the front desk for when he came down to pick up his new room key. I then spoke to Ms. Jenkins and she said that she did not need any more assistance and Mr. Jenkins will come down to pick up his room key when he was ready. That's not good, Jeezy. It's not good. So why did you push her? So I'm wondering, was it one of them like, you know, like, man, go on, like, I don't, it, regardless, he shouldn't have pushed her. It ain't no excuse. There's no reason to push anybody, especially when you're walking down some steps. So, and then there are witnesses to this. That's not good at all. Woo, let's continue. In yet another incident on December 17th, 2022 at the UNICEF 19th Atlanta Mayor's Mask Ball, mother went to the restroom with her girlfriend. Father became enraged as he did not know mother's whereabouts for 25 minutes. In response, father abruptly demanded that the two leave the party. Once in the vehicle, father asked the driver to exit and began to verbally a word mother mother attempted to exit the vehicle two times and on the second time father grabbed mother by the neckline of her dress resulting in the dress being torn and multiple two to three inch scratches across her right breast due to father's fingernails mother reported this incident to her therapist with father present and also told her best friend in confidence wow Further evidence that Jeannie submitted to the courts are these photographs of said bruises from a golf cart, <clears throat> a golf cart accident that she said that Jeezy caused while drinking. These are the photographs. So in this text message conversation, June 23rd, 2022, you see Jeezy say, babe, be done getting my hair cut. Uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Can Monaco stay up so I can tell her good night? She responded, yes, Papa, we miss you with a photograph of her and Monaco and of her bruises that she sustained from the golf cart accident. Um, this is the golf cart in question. And here's more photographs of the golf cart. Then in this text message on June 23rd, 2022, she says, baby, I have a lot of dresses to wear this week. Talking about, cause she's going to have to cover up the bruises. He said, I'm sorry, babe. Haven't forgiven myself for putting you in danger. I've been uneasy and sad about it. 
She responded, it was not intentional. It was an accident, but we do need to be more careful, especially when we're drinking, babe. I don't think you know your own strength when you drink. So it seems to me like they were having a good time drinking. He was in a golf cart doing too much, driving too fast, and they had an accident. So uh, in this text message, you see it says, it looks swollen, and how open was your foot? It looks like it may have needed stitches, but it is healing. Stop using the peroxide. Get these two products. So it looks like this is Jeezy talking. Yes, yeah, it says snow. So it shows Jeezy talking to a doctor or something, someone of that nature. And then the uh, it says, have you had any other issues since the headaches, loss of memory, or seizures? Whoa. Okay. So... This is Jeezy's documentation showing that he too was injured in this golf cart accident. So here is a picture of his foot. Oh, Jesus. It is obviously very swole, split open, bruises and everything. So it wasn't just her that was, you know, banged up from this golf cart accident. Now the golf cart accident doesn't seem like DV to me. Now this other incident, these two incidents she's talking about in the car and at the Ritz Carlton, those are very suspect. Those are very suspect indeed. Jeezy has responded to the allegations today via his Instagram and said the allegations are not only false, but also deeply disturbing, especially coming from someone I loved. This malicious attempt to tarnish my character and disrupt my family is ridiculous. It's disheartening to witness the manipulation and deceit at play. And at this time, my main concern is being an active father to our daughter as I continue to fight for court mandated joint custody. Rest assured, the truth will prevail through the proper legal channels. I mean, one thing that I will say <clears throat> in defense of Jeezy, now that we know all of this information, for Jeannie to say that she was blindsided by the divorce, she did not know or see it coming, obviously is a lie. If y'all were having DV um, problems and verbal issues and all of these things, it doesn't seem like your marriage was doing too well to me. You know, um, I've never known or heard of Jeezy being a abuser in any type of way, but that's not to say that he wasn't in this relationship. We don't know. We weren't there. Hopefully, um, this doesn't get any worse because this is bad that it's gotten to these sorts of accusations and things. Um, but that Ritz Carlton, uh, incident report does not look good at all it really honestly don't um we will need further proof from the therapist and pastor about the other incidents that she claims that they spoke to you know the pastor and therapist about if she comes forth with that yikes 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 that that's gonna be the nail in the coffin Woo, this is bad. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Please make sure to thumbs up this video once again. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.